The preview window in Photo Mechanic lets you get a closer view of your images to help you quickly call and rate your photos, and you can use the same options here for rating your images with tags or color class or star ratings as you do in the contact sheet, and then there are other panels and tools in the preview window to help you with your workflow. The fastest way to open the preview window is just to press the spacebar on your keyboard with an image selected in a contact sheet, but you can also select the magnifying glass button in the bottom right of a thumbnail window, or use the keyboard shortcut Command-R on a Mac, or Control-R on a Windows computer as seen here. The preview window will now display the photo selected in your contact sheet, a thumbnail strip of the images in the folder you have open, and a column of panels on the right side. In this video, we're going to go over the top toolbar options, and then we have another video that goes into more detail on the panels on the right side of the preview window. On the top left are the previous and next arrows that you can select to move through your images, but it's much faster to use the arrow keys on your keyboard. For almost all the icons in the toolbar, hovering your cursor over an icon will show you a keyboard shortcut for that function, which can really help speed up your workflow over using your mouse. Next are the select and deselect icons, which can help you create or work with selected sets of images, and we'll go over these in more detail in another video. The next two icons let you perform a soft rotation on the image you're viewing, just as you can in the contact sheet, and you can also use the left and right square brackets on your keyboard for this. The eye icon also has the same function as it does in the contact sheet, which is to open the metadata info window so you can see any metadata that might already be attached to that image or let you add additional metadata if needed. The next icon is the Edit Photo icon, and this will send the displayed image to the editing program you have set as your default in the Launching Preferences seen here. Or you can just press the E key, just like you can from the contact sheet. The Copy icon opens Photo Mechanic's Copy Move tool and all the features in it to help you organize your images. And the trash can lets you delete the image that you're currently viewing in the preview window, or you can also use the delete key on your keyboard. The next three icons let you switch between viewing a single image or doing side-by-side -side comparisons of similar images, and we'll go over this in more detail in another video. This icon is the Film Strip Swap tool, which lets you move your film strip from the left side of your photo to just below it as seen in the icon design, and this icon does not have a keyboard shortcut. These two icons let you either go into full view mode to hide the film strip and the panels on the right, or restore the window to its default view. Finally, on the far right is the Manage Colors icon that lets you perform color matching based on settings in the Color Management Preferences, and selecting that icon will let you toggle that color profile on and off. There is also no keyboard shortcut for this icon. This icon will be on the far right end of the toolbar on a Mac, but just to the right next to the other icons on a Windows computer. Many of these tools can also be found in a context-sensitive menu that comes up when you right-click on an image along with other tools. And anytime you need to close the preview window and go back to the contact sheet, the fastest way is just to press the Escape key on your keyboard. For information on the right side panels, be sure to watch the Part 2 video on the preview window, and you can also find details in the knowledge base on our website at camerabits.com. For any other questions, please contact our support team by phone or email.